Hi friends, welcome back to the Saffron Box. I'm Yamini Sharma and today in this video, I'll be talking about the position of the Lagnesh in various houses in your chart. So I'm referring to your birth chart, your natal chart over here. And I'll talk about what happens when your Lagnesh is placed in various houses. So I'll go house wise and I'll talk about the uh, effect which it has on you. Right, so when we see the uh, position of the Lagnesh, remember Lagna is the most important factor in the horoscope. That is how the horoscope starts. That is how the horoscope is cast. The sign which is which was rising on the eastern horizon when you were born. Right, so the ruler of that sign becomes a very important planet and understanding its position gives a lot of you know, understanding regarding the native, regarding the uh, person. So understanding the position of the Lagnesh is, a, uh, is an important thing. As soon as we open a chart, we always see what the Lagna is and then thereafter, where is the Lagnesh placed? Then come the positions of the moon as well as the sun. So I'll talk about that as well in subsequent videos. But here I'm going to be focusing on the position of the Lagnesh in your horoscope, in your birth chart. And what does it say about you? Right. So what is your inclination? What are you like? Is what I'm going to be talking about. This, of course, is a general understanding of the uh, of the position of the Lagnesh. A lot of things change or the significations uh, or the effect as such increase or decrease depending on the other factors, depending on the other planets, the houses involved, the signs involved as well. So here I'm taking a simple thing, you know, it's like understanding uh, a chart layer by layer. So I'm just talking about a very basic level of uh, the position of the Lagnesh and what does it speak about you, right? So do not get uh, thinking about anything advanced. Just take this position. Do leave me a feedback as to uh, whether you agree with me or you disagree. Uh, are, are there something else which you notice, etc. Right? So I'll be happy to read your comments and I would like to uh, make subsequent videos on them as well. So let's talk about the Lagnesh in the first house. So Lagnesh in the first house means that if your Lagna is Libra, if you have a Libra rising, Libra ascendant, the ruler of uh, Libra, that is Venus, is in the ascendant itself, is in the first house itself, right? So we know that whichever planet, you know, if a planet is the owner of the sign, is the owner of that house and it sits there, it gets a lot of strength. So any planet is very comfortable in its own house, in its own sign. So here we are talking about a native. We are talking about a person who is very energetic, who has self-confidence, a belief in himself or herself. So depending on what kind of a planet it is, there will be various other things. So as I said, I am going layer by layer here. So the person will be focused on himself, herself, very conscious of how they look, what is their physical appearance, uh, very conscious of how they appear to people as well. Right? And uh, this uh, placement also gives a lot of focus on themselves. So the, the first thought which comes to their mind is about themselves, right? So they'll think about themselves first and then somebody else. So here I'm not saying that the person is selfish, but the focus is on the self, right? So here, uh, the this is a good placement, I would say. Your energy level is uh, on a high, your self-confidence gets boosted, you focus on your development all the time. So you want to do things to get better uh, physically, uh, mentally, professionally, 
बिकॉज वॉट एवर कर्मा यू आर डूइंग यूर फाइनली दी लग्नेश इज इन्वॉल्व राइट सो हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू गो अबाउट थिंग्स इज वॉट मैटर्स टू यू देन वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट हाउस सो इफ लग्नेश इज इन द सेकेंड हाउस वॉट आर दी वॉट इज द इम्पैक्ट वॉट आर दी इफेक्ट्स सो इफ रिमेंबर the second house is about money second house is about your pocket your family your finances so when the lagnesh is in the second house in your birth chart your focus or you yourself are quite engaged in all these matters so you could be a very family oriented person you could be somebody who's very interested in finance you work in a joint family business second house is of speech so maybe you earn through speech that obviously depends on the other houses the other signs involved but your work you know involves a lot of your speech how you talk how you communicate becomes a very important uh, factor in your life your family is very important to you money is very important to you you could be somebody who likes to uh, gather things who likes to sometimes hoard things also this is something which i have really seen in <clears throat> lot of my readings that uh, whenever the lagnesh is in the second house of your birth chart of the birth chart these people are not able to throw things out they like to accumulate the second house is by default the uh, sign of taurus also in the natural horoscope so these people are not able to let go things they will not be able to donate easily they will not be able to throw unused items away easily so they like to keep everything together right they are uh, very family oriented as i mentioned so family values are very important they could be born in a wealthy family in a family with money right then uh i uh, move on to the next uh, placement lagnesh in the third house so if the lagnesh is in the third house if your lagn lord is in the third house remember the third house is the house of courage is the house of parakram it's the house which talks about ideas your subconscious mind communication your siblings right so here uh, the uh, person the native becomes very industrious very hard working or likes to uh, do a lot of hard work to achieve his goals or maybe sometimes be forced to do a lot of hard work the person could be a very responsible person by nature or sometimes it so happens that as they grow along remember the third house is also a upjay bhav a growth house so as they grow in age as they mature the responsibilities on them increases so family responsibilities uh, responsibilities towards younger siblings these things keep increasing with age so as they age as they mature more and more uh, responsibilities uh, fall in their lap and this makes the person very hard working wants to travel a lot has to struggle a lot to put uh, things together to put both ends together right this could also be a, a position which talks about uh somebody who is interested in communication matters likes to communicate a lot could be a very talkative person likes to mingle around a lot the third house is by default as per the natural horoscope the sign of gemini so gemini likes to talk right so here talking communicating ideas uh coming up with lot of new ideas all the time siblings are very important to them travel is very important to them right a lot of physical labor is what they are capable of as well then 
I move on to the next Lagnesh in the fourth house. So if your Lagnesh, if your ascendant lord is in the fourth house, it shows that you are very attached to the fourth house matters. Fourth house of motherland, fourth house of your mother, your house, your land, your property, your assets, your immovable assets, your vehicles. So this could be a person who is very attached to his mother, who works in the motherland, works for their country, works for their people. This could also be somebody who is uh, dealing in land and property and vehicles or uh, is very comfortable at home, does not like to move around much. And generally, if this uh, falls under a fixed sign, that means if the fourth house has a fixed sign, that means the lagna is also of a fixed sign. So in such a case, these people do not like to leave their home. So if they are living in their maternal, paternal house, if, you know, if, they, if they are living in the house of their parents, they would not like to move out. They would like to continue staying in their family home. That means a lot to them. They are very protective of their family members. Right, so here um, they also enjoy a lot of uh, conveyances, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, peace at home, tranquility at home is very important to them. So anything which disturbs the home environment, they do not like. So whatever they are doing, they want to return back to home. These people are not the kinds who would... Uh, you know, uh, go ahead and travel a little more, maybe spend a little more time outside home. They would like to return, however late it is in the day, they would like to return home, sleep in their own home. Sleep is also very important. Rest is also very important to these people. Then, Lagnesh in the fifth house. This is a very good placement. Lagnesh in the uh, sixth, in the fifth house shows that the person is uh, blessed as such. Fifth house is Purva Punya. Fifth house is a trinal house. It's the house which rules over your creativity, expression of your talents, knowledge, intelligence. So here the person is able to utilize their knowledge, utilize their intelligence in a better manner. They are able to manage things around themselves in a better manner. So that again depends, the lagne should be free of afflictions. So if I put the lagnesh here, for example, you are a Pisces ascendant and uh, lagnesh Jupiter goes into the fifth house, gets exalted but has a lot of affliction to it. Right? Afflicted by a lot of malefics. The other factors like the sun and the moon are also afflicted. Then in such a case, these things will not qualify. You will not get such good results as it might seem at first glance. Here the person could also be spiritually inclined. Mantra sadhana. Leading, uh, reading religious texts, religious books, more involved with children. For some people, this could also be, uh, you know, they could also be involved in the speculation, in the entertainment industry, in the education sector. So there are a lot of possibilities as soon as we talk about the fifth house because one, if the lagnesh is unafflicted, it is in shubh panchak, the other factors are supportive, then it it will uplift the whole chart. Then moving on to lagnesh in the sixth house, if lagnesh comes to the sixth house, it comes to a trik bhava, a dustana. So not a very great position to be. But again depends 
what kind of a what is the planet which is the planet which is involved here so a crore graha like mars or uh, saturn shani might be able to tackle this energy because when the lagnesh comes to the 6th we are talking about somebody who's going to be dealing with conflicts who's going to be dealing with diseases or some kind of an opposition or somebody who's very involved in the work schedule every day is who's always busy but again this is not as bad because 6th house is a upche bhav also so in the upche bhav the person is able to if the person is able to use their energy well is able to channelize themselves towards a good direction towards a positive direction then this can show a lot of growth to the person so here balancing the energy of the 6th house is very important you could also be somebody who is uh, working towards resolving conflicts resolving problems so either you could be a part of the problem so it could be a legal problem medical problem or you are somebody who's involved in these problems like you could be a lawyer you could be a doctor you could be somebody who fixes these problems so you've got to be dealing with these issues which side are you batting on that is a different thing rest of your chart when we see the other planets uh, you know we'll be able to understand that then uh, this could also be a placement where the person uh, is involved in seva seva right so seva bhav service to others we can see from the 6th house so see doctors also serve others specifically talking about the medical profession serving others helping others helping the sick helping the ill right then uh, this could also be an interesting placement for somebody who's involved in a lot of physical activities so uh, you are a sports person uh, you are into yoga uh, you are into uh, a lot of running around regarding your work so if your energy is getting spent every day physically this will cut out the malefic impact of the 6th house then lagnesh in the 7th house lagnesh in the 7th house basically shows somebody who is involved very involved uh, with other people primarily their spouse their partner so relationships are very important to these people they are always worried about what the other person is saying or what the other person will think so other opinions you know other people's opinion matters a lot to them it is kind of opposite to what happens when the lagnesh is in the first house lagnesh in the first house shows a person who's very self convinced but the lagnesh in the seventh house shows somebody who uh, you know really values what other people are thinking about them so here uh, they become very social and sometimes they neglect their own needs to uh, be good to others or to be involved with others so even if they have their own work lying around they just might uh, put it aside if somebody comes or if somebody uh, somebody comes and you know uh, takes up their time they don't mind it they'll give up their work or they'll give up their uh, they will uh, prioritize somebody else over their own needs this could be a good thing in your marriage but overall this is again something which is a little dicey which is a little tricky then seventh house is of your business seventh house is uh, of travel as well so here this could be somebody who's into business who has his own venture who's involved in commercial activities trade and commerce this gives a good sense of business also good good sense of uh, judging people as well these people might jump into marriage pretty early because they are always looking for a partner they want to uh, relate to somebody 
so a spouse becomes a very important part of their lives lagnesh in the 8th house lagnesh in the 8th house means lagnesh has gone to a trik bhava 8th house is the most malefic house also of all the trik bhavas the 6 8 12 houses so here this could be a person who uh who is dealing with a lot of suddenness in life so it could be uh suddenness in terms of surprises or shocks you know any, anything happens suddenly sudden events unpredictability or eighth house is also the house of transformation so they undergo a lot of transformation in their lives transformation could be in the form of physical transformation it could be in the form of how they are as such as a person so as they mature or maybe after marriage eighth house is the second from the seventh house so uh, the growth of marriage or once they start working once they have their own venture there could be a lot of transformation in their lives transformation as i mentioned could be of something else also could be mentally also you could be uh, you know getting transformed as you age so someone who was very inclined towards materialism could turn very spiritual or may be become a minimalist after some time so these kind of transformations can take place eighth house is the house of ayu your longevity so depending on how the lagnesh is placed depending on the position of sun and moon as i said earlier the person's longevity will also be affected so here if the lagnesh is in a bad state is badly afflicted longevity can get affected provided sun and moon are also affected then in such a case the uh, you know it could be uh, uh, difficult tiding over problems tiding over health issues for a longer time but a well placed lagnesh over here a friendly sign or maybe in a, a good state aspected by benefics supported by the functional benefics could give a person a very long age long uh, uh, you know longevity as well this could also show a person who is involved in eighth house matters so somebody who's into deep research somebody who's into occult sciences like astrology like jyotish because these things are paravidya these things are not taught in schools so something which is hidden something which is beneath the surface somebody who who does spine work detective work basically a native who can keep a lot of information to themselves and give out only what is necessary right so these kind of people we can see when the lagnesh is in the 8th house chronic diseases also we can see from here so somebody who's dealing with a lot of health issues chronic issues so it could be a, a minor problem also like you have a bp problem but it is not very severe you are on medication every day or it could be a thyroid issue so a lot of people i know take thyroid medication and they take it for years and years all together so some kind of a medication is always on with you right then lagnesh in the 9th house lagnesh in the 9th house again is a good placement this is the bhagyasthan this is a trinal house a lakshmi sthan by default this is the sign of sagittarius which falls here so this shows a you know place of spirituality a place of higher wisdom so the uh, native the person could be involved towards spiritual pursuits could be somebody who likes to travel or is involved in the travel industry in the travel work his work involves a lot of travel a lot of moving around air travel is involved a lot this could also show somebody who is inclined towards learning so these people i have generally seen that they like to keep learning you'll find them learning something or the other even 60 65 year old people old people senior citizens i have seen they'll keep learning something 
they'll pick up a book on a new topic and they'll read about it they'll talk about it because for them lifelong learning is very important this also shows an affinity towards gurus towards your mentors so you like to seek guidance you like to follow the path of dharma this is a dharma trine as well so you like to follow the dharma you want to be responsible you know what's your, your what are your uh, duties and you carry on with your duties you are a law abiding citizen so generally people who are in law and order people who are in the judicial service or uh, teachers for that matter counselors guides have this placement of their lagnesh being in the ninth house if it's a very strongly uh, positive lagnesh the higher the level of the person higher education is also very important to these people so they will not stop at a graduation or a post graduation maybe they'll do a post graduation again or learn something as i said learning is important they also have divine grace on themselves this is the house of divine grace so being born with the lagnesh in the ninth house shows that the person has come with a lot of blessings a lot of good karma in the past then lagnesh in the 10th house lagnesh in the 10th house shows that this person is very hard working why because the 10th house is upche bhava and a kendra bhava so growth is important whatever you put in the upche bhava grows it's a kendra sthan it's the second most important house in your horoscope after the lagna so it rules your thinking process how your brain works how you work so when i'm talking about work it is not only your profession it is about what kind of a karma you generate on a day to day basis also what is your line of thinking what are your value systems so here we are talking about a a person who's a karma yogi believes in self and believes in hard work generally follows the uh, principles of their father so could be following on uh, their father's footsteps right these people are very industrious they like to take initiative at work they like to take initiative in things they are born leaders then uh here uh, by default if you see it uh, the 10th house is the uh has the capricorn sign a saturnian sign so here the uh person grows very slowly and steadily in life so after crossing their 30s in their 40s is when their growth curve starts usually i have seen in their 20s or 30s the uh you know the gains the material gains or the gains in their profession as such are uh, very moderate but as soon as they start aging this as soon as they start they cross the age of 36 when saturn matures good results start coming they start to get a good direction of what they want to do in life and by the time they enter their 40s they know exactly what they want to do and uh their efforts start paying off also this person could also be very concerned about others happiness their spouse's comforts spouse's happiness 10th house is the fourth from the 7th house so other people or your spouse and their happiness fourth house is always the a uh, sukh sthan from where whichever house you see you see the fourth house it's the kendra from there so from the 7th 10th is the kendra and it shows the happiness you are going to derive out of it so here the spouses or other people's happiness uh, their comfort is very important to this person so these people can make great partners these people are an asset to have then uh 
there also could be chances that uh, they are very self-made people, as I said, because in their 20s and 30s, they have roughed it out. They know what to keep and what to let go. Then, uh, Lagnesh in the 11th house. Lagnesh in the 11th house is obviously a good placement. But sometimes it might create issues regarding your health. 11th house, though it's the house of gains, house of Ichha Purti, it is also a malefic house. It is 6th from 6th. So a higher note of the 6th house. Health can suffer, but material gains can come. So materially, I have seen these people are pretty well off. Usually they are born in good uh, families and as they age, their wealth increases. So by the time, by the end of their life, usually they are pretty rich. But dealing with chronic health issues. They generally like to follow the example of their elder siblings. And they know where to invest to gain the maximum. Because by default, you know, in the default setting only, the Lagnesh is in the 11th house. So you're born with Lagnesh in the 11th house. You know how to fulfill your desires. You know how to get things done. So here, if the uh, planet, if the Lagnesh is well placed, is comfortable, it's in Shub Panchak, there's no malefic effect, then this becomes a very good placement. Material gains keep coming. Support from father keeps coming. Your social circle also, you know, you're very active socially. So social circle also helps you out. Superiors also help you out. So you can understand that a lot of gains come. But usually these people, because they're running after so much after their ambition, they ignore their health. And that is the reason I think the health also suffers sooner or later. Then Lagnesh in the 12th house. 12th house is again a Trek Bhava. But 12th house is a little uh, difficult house. You know, while it is the house of spiritual growth also, house of letting go, house of moksha, it comes under the moksha trine. It is also the house of Vyai. Expending energy, spending energy. So here the person could be uh, somebody who is... Uh, living away from home so these people could be uh, you know right from a young age these people could be put in hostels by their parents so they are staying away from their parents from a young age i have seen them in, seen this in many charts or sooner or later by the time they reach uh, college uh, level they travel out they move out of the house so these days we know that we are living in nuclear families and uh, uh, people move out, children have to move out. But in their cases, it could be like, you know, they go out, they, uh, they settle outside, away from their home, settle in a different country also sometimes. Then this person could be a very uh, spiritual person also, believes in donation, believes in seva, likes to travel to, you know, uh, retreats, likes to spend time alone, is very imaginative, has good expression. But at the same time, this could be a tricky placement. When I said that, it also means that here it could be a person who is very spendful, a spendthrift, somebody who's into a lot of wastage also, wastes a lot, wastes his time, wastes his money, wastes his effort towards wrong things. So it depends, you know, this energy is a little difficult to manage. Twelfth house by default is the, uh, you know, house of Pisces. Pisces falls here in the national horoscope. So it, it shows no boundaries, open sky, open ocean. And on top of it, uh, the, uh, you know, the element here, Pisces, is a water sign. So here, if the Lagnesh goes into a water sign, if the Lagnesh itself is a watery planet, 
then this could this could show that the person is into a lot of expenditure now that depends on what kind of expenditure for some it could be expenditure of money for some if they are utilizing this energy well they could be expanding their knowledge to people around they could be good uh, spiritual guides they could be good teachers good counselors good doctors they could specialize in something really well because these people have the ability to be alone and spend a lot of time alone also so two kinds of uh, things you know can be seen so you see every placement has some positives has some negatives nothing is good or nothing is bad as such there's neither good nor bad in astrology every coin has two sides and every placement every planet has a good and a bad side so a sensible person likes to utilize the uh, good side likes to develop the a uh, good side the good habits the good uh, values uh, which we see and that is what is important so uh, you know vibe at a, a better level at a good level with the good energy of the planet and nothing will bother you nothing will scare you when you talk about astrology well so yeah that was about uh, the lagnesh in all the 12 houses a very uh, short a very small uh, video on this uh, this content can go on uh, you know uh, there are so many things there are so many combinations i'll try and keep uh, coming up with videos where i cover in uh, more and more topics as well so i'll see you when i see you in my next video till then take care and god bless you